Hi, hello. Welcome back to Max Ninjas. This is Femi Bijoy. Today we are going to discuss a new section that is Pythagorean triplet. Have you heard about the word Pythagoras theorem? Where we have used that theorem? See, if you have a triangle like this, what is the speciality of this triangle? See, one angle is right angle. So, this is a right angle to triangle. See, this is the base of this triangle. This is the height and C is the hypotenuse of this triangle. We know Pythagoras theorem says that A square plus B square equal to C square. We studied this. Otherwise, you have, you maybe have studied base square plus height square equal to hypotenuse square. Both are same. Pythagorean triplet is nothing but the values of A, B and C. What we have discussed in Pythagoras theorem, the values of A, B and C, we will call it as Pythagorean triplet. A, comma B, comma C and this A, B, C should satisfy A square plus B square equal to C square. Okay. See, this is a right angle and the base is 3 unit, height is 4 unit. Then what will be the hypotenuse of this triangle? Then hypotenuse will be 5. That is 3 square plus 4 square equal to 5 square. Here 3, 4 and 5 are Pythagorean triplets. Okay. Now next we are going to discuss a formula. How can we find out the Pythagorean triplet? very easily. For that, instead of this ABC, instead of A, B and C, instead of this ABC, A square plus B square equal to C square. 2M Instead of A, I wrote 2M, the whole square, plus instead of B, I wrote M square minus 1, the whole square, and instead of C, I am going to write down M square plus 1, the whole square. Here, triplets are See, instead of A, 2M, that is triplets are 2M, comma, instead of B, M square minus 1. So, M square minus 1 and instead of C, M square plus 1. So, these are the triplets. Next, we are going to find out Pythagorean triplet is one number from that is 12. One number is 12 means sometimes 2m may be 12 or m square minus 1 may be 12. Otherwise, m square plus 1 may be 12. One number is 12 means sometimes 2m may be 12, m square minus 1 may be 12 or m square plus 1 may be 12. Now we are going to check which one is 12. See, if m square minus 1 is 12 means m square equal to 12 plus 1 equal to 30. That is m square is 30. Then m will be root of 30. It won't be a natural number. So, we cannot use 
this one e m square plus 1 equal to 12 implies e m square equal to 12 minus 1 equal to 11 then m will be root of 11 that will also be not a natural number so we can go through 2m equal to 12 this implies m equal to 12 by 2 equal to 6 that is m equal to 6 now we can very easily find out what are the Pythagorean triplets what is our formula 2m comma m square minus 1 comma m square plus 1 these are the Pythagorean triplets where m equal to what is the value of m m equal to 6 so 2m equal to 2 into 6 equal to 12 then m square minus 1 6 square 36 36 minus 1 35 then m square plus 1 6 square plus 1 that is 6 square 36 plus 1 37 so these are the Pythagorean triplet if one number is 12 one number is 12 and the next two numbers are 35 and 37 so if we have any one number is given we should check which one can be applied okay i hope you enjoyed my class if you have any doubt please ask to me through comment box if you like my video please like share and subscribe and support me signing off for me be joy in the next class uh, definitely we can do the exercise problems